It's an honor. It really is an honor for the Colt football teams to be inducted in the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame people. I, my profound thanks. It's just, you cannot believe the impact that this acceptance into the hall has made on the players of this football, these football teams, the two of them. These players develop such a friendship and a duty to each other in 89 and 90. We won where no one ever dreamt we would win. We weren't supposed to win. We are just a team that was supposed to show up and get their asses kicked. <laughs> <laughs> and we reversed that theory. These kids who played in 89-90 were friends then, they're friends today, great friends today. They're successful in business. A lot of them are still coaching football with great, great success. Like I can name Rob McNabb out of Cochran. I think he's won 15 provincial championships in a row. And he still coaches football. Uh, we have them all over the place and the, the integrity of these guys and what they've demonstrated to the community in Calgary, and I think what they learned in those two championship runs was really something. When we got, in 1989, we were a fourth place team. We had to go to Regina, and they never lost, they never got beat for the first uh, playoff game, and we won. And we didn't win because Regina rolled over, we won because we kicked the hell out of them. <laughs> we really did. And real quickly, the next week we had to go to uh, Saskatoon, who was a fourth, second place team, and they were hosting the Prairie Junior Championship game. It was a cold, bitter Sunday afternoon in November in, in Saskatoon. And at the well, five minutes, five, excuse me, five seconds to go in the football game, it was a tied score. We were on the 47-yard line of Saskatoon. The wind was blowing as only the Saskatchewan winds can blow straight across the field. <laughs> we didn't know what we were going to do. Do you kick? We couldn't do that. Do you throw the Hail Mary? Well, that's always a thing you can talk about. We just ground the football and take our chances in overtime. Where do we kick a field goal? I brought up the word field goal, and I heard from the back of this huddle at the sideline during a timeout, Coach, I'll make it. A field goal kicker was a guy by the name of Stu Terry. Man. He was not known as Mr. Longleg Perry, <laughs> and he sure as hell wasn't known as Mr. Accuracy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> but he said that, Coach, I can make this. I just said it's field goal. So when the ball was snapped to be on the 54-yard line, when he kicked that thing from the minute it left his foot, I don't know if it's hit the ground yet. <clears throat> it was such a kick that as soon as it left his foot, 